Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, my name is Caitlin and I look a little bit weird if you can't tell. Um, I have one eyelash on and one eyelash off. Look at the difference that an eyelash makes, right? Like, I don't have mascara or anything on because I do that after, but look. Lash, no lash. It just looks so much more like put together. So I've had a few questions about my messy ass room. No, um, I've had a few questions about how to put on lashes, makeup and things like that. Um, I was just doing a little bit of a tutorial video for a girlfriend of mine who wanted help with um, putting on foundation. So in my face routine. So I figured let's keep the video going. Let's keep going. So um, this is the lash that I'm about to apply. Um, I'm pretty sure this is um, not something that you can see very well. But it's beautiful. It's like wispy and thick and I really have become um, more into like the dramatic lash. And I think this is from Coco Lashes. I think it's their risque model. Um, and yeah, I love I love Coco Lashes. They really have some incredible lashes. Let's see if I have any actually in my drawer. Um, okay, so it comes in a box like this. This is called the Stella Lash. I also like the like pointiness of it. All the ones that I have. I have like a legit pile of lashes just right here that I need to reuse, but I'm so bad about it. Another great lash option um, are from Salon Perfect, and this is a Walmart exclusive brand, and these are the 615s. Love these. Uh, they're just like the Risqués almost. Can you see? Uh, the Risqués are a little bit thicker and darker, which I do appreciate. And then these are <laughs> another really great um, option. These again are Salon Perfect. They're from Walmart and they're the 614. They are exclusive to Walmart. You can't even really buy them online, I don't think. And these are like my favorite ones from them and they're always sold out. I just went to Walmart the other day and had an interesting experience that I posted about on Facebook. Like people are just weirdos and I attract weirdos. So it was like just the weirdest, but they did have three of these. So uh, I guess I can say that that trip as weird as it was, was a success. So, um, I'm gonna take my lash glue. This isn't my favorite. Um, I love Revlon makes a lash glue and it's in this format, so it's a wand. It gets really gross and janky. Can you see all the glue on the side? And it like gets stuck to everything in my makeup bag. Um, but I like the wand applicator. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if we can get this done together. I'm just going to um, put some glue on the band and it comes out, it's like a, eh, like a bluish color. It's getting really dark out, sorry. Sorry guys, the lighting is chate. But it comes out like white almost, can you see against my shirt? And then as it dries, it gets a little more translucent and like a bluish color. So the trick to putting them on, for me anyways, um, something that I had to learn was you can't just put the glue on and put it on your lash line because the glue isn't tacky enough, so it's not gonna stick. It's just gonna slide around and move and become super obnoxious and you're gonna like hate life. So literally, let it be for like 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute. Um, if you're putting it on a client or something, if you're a makeup artist and you're watching this, I don't know why you would be, but um, if you're putting it on somebody else, uh, like if you're doing a friend or your sister or whatever, if you're putting it on somebody else, anybody else, your boyfriend, I don't care who it is, don't blow on it. It's just not hygienic. For me, I'm going to put it on my own damn eyeline, uh, my eyelash, so I feel comfortable blowing my own damn germs on the glue. And I do this to kind of accelerate the dry time. My room's a mess. I'm a mess. What can you do? So I'm blowing, blowing, blowing. That's what she said. And you just want it to be tacky. Because like I said, it's like a bitch trying to get it on. So, ooh, how do you put this on on camera? So I'm going to, I just look down. I have a mirror right down here. This is like the most unflattering angle. Sorry if I move you of life. Um... I don't have any eyeliner on today, so you want to be very careful of how you're putting it on. If you don't wear, if you don't have eyeliner on, you want it as close to the lash line as possible because you're gonna see the gaps. Also, I don't put mascara on first. Some people like to do that. I don't know why, but I just find it to be more difficult. I also don't curl my lashes beforehand. I just my real lashes tend to get in the way that way. So I just tilt my head back, looking in the mirror, drop it on my lash line, make sure the middle 
Oh, mother of God. Make sure the middle touches first. See how it's like lifted up there? Sometimes you get glue on your on your tweezers. I use tweezers. I cannot use my fingers. I cannot. Um, but sometimes it will get stuck to the freaking tweezers. That's what just happened. So I do the middle. And then the outside. And then I hope you guys can see this. Oh, this is hard. This is hard, guys. And then I pop down the inside. And I just kind of continue to go back and forth over the lash line itself to make sure it's like adhered properly. You don't really want it like just adhered or glued to your lashes because that's not going to, it's just going to fall off eventually. You want it on the actual lid, like the lash line of your lid. Let it dry a minute. Like I said, I really like this. This is from Coco Lashes. Not my favorite, but I've never had any issues with like them popping off throughout the day. Um, but my favorite is um, Revlon. I'm going to run out of time. So I do this. I put some mascara on just at the bottoms. Do I have mascara? Yeah, I have a little bit. Um, just at the bottom, like the bottoms of my lashes. That way you're not really ruining the, the lashes itself, but you want to blend in your natural lashes and then you can curl them really quickly. I'm going to run out of time guys. So uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them.